Right, we're rolling now, so I got no choice. Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is NZ Rookie, and welcome back to another video. Now, originally, I woke up. Now, originally today, I wasn't gonna make a video, but I woke up, I rolled over. Give me one sec. And what I found next to my bed was this piece of paper. Despite having the writing of a six-year-old, it does in fact say, make a video every week. I made this goal at the start of the year. And it just made me think, F who cares? Let's just, just make a video. So I'm making a video. Anyway, point is, I started making a video yesterday on Friday. It was going to be day in the life. Friday. Sick one. But I just played that, you know, that age-old prank on myself where I uh, don't f***ing film anything. Yeah, hard to make a video when there's, you know, no video. So we're gonna spice things up, do something a little bit different, and like do like a commentary video. Anyway, roll the intro, let's get into it. Good morning, the time is 5.55 a.m. I have, well, I've just woken up, more or less. I've driven to school because I've got training this morning. I've got a fitness test, a yo-yo test, and that starts at six. So I need to get a move on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down, I'm gonna get out of my car, walk over there, and do the test. First of all, let's give credit where credit's due. Fantastic explanation. So for those of you that do not know what a yo-yo test is, a yo-yo test is essentially a fitness test. Basically, you have a line of cones set up 20 meters apart, I think. How far are... 20 meters apart. So essentially, you have two sets of cones 20 meters apart, and then you've also got like a five meter little area where you rest. Essentially, it's the same concept as the beep test. You hear beeps, you run 20 meters there, 20 meters back, and then you get 10 seconds of rest before you go again. The point is, the beeps get faster and faster, the run gets harder and harder, and eventually you just go until you fail. Right, so as you can see where everyone is lined up, that is the start line. The line where we run to is just a little bit out of shot. These are all the forwards for our rugby team. And I believe this was the final yo-yo test of the season. The aim of the yo-yo intermittent recovery test is to run as many times as possible back and forth between the markers. I'm sorry, but how annoying is that man's voice? This is the amazing recovery. Like, if anything's off-putting in this, it's that man. The little creep. <laughs> the little creep who calls out the beeps. Oh, also, uh, I'm the one wearing the white singlet. Five, one. Five, four, So as you can see, we start off real slowly. We start at level five. It's dead easy, dead slow. Anyone can do it. 15, so as you can see, as the levels get higher and higher, more people start to drop out just because it gets harder. Now at level 15, don't get me wrong, I'm starting to feel it, but I still feel strong, I feel good. The mental health is in check. 18, so not gonna lie, as you start getting to about level 18, this is where it starts to get tricky. You're feeling it, the legs are sore, the lactic acid's there. 10 seconds rest just don't feel like enough. So from 18 onwards, it's basically a mental battle between you, whoever else is still running, and yourself. I remember looking around, seeing the number of boys that were still in at 18 and thinking, holy sh**, I'm tired. <laughs> now my previous personal best before this was 20 on the dot. Now obviously always I want to beat that, but I am heavier than when I set that. Currently sitting about 88 kg. So I wasn't really expecting to like smash any, any PBs. Change to speed 19. God, when I heard that, I thought, fuck me, I am knackered. Oh, look at this bell in. Look, he's taking his shirt off. What a, what an absolute loser. Now, it's actually a technique. You take your shirt off. It's basically like a second win. Science said it, I think. Nineteen six. 
So as you can see, there aren't many of us in the test. There's only three of us in the test now. Certainly in the business end, and it's just a grind to see who's going to take it. Now obviously, yes, I'm knackered. I'm kind of thinking, holy hell, how much more can I do? But at the same time, I'm also looking around thinking like, you're not gonna beat me. For whatever reason, I don't know what it is with this test, I just fucking hate losing. So it doesn't matter who you are, how fit you are, you ain't gonna beat me. And that was the mindset I had going into this, and that's the mindset you gotta have if you wanna smash your, your fitness goals. So at that point we hit level 20 which was now my personal best. There were only two of us left but at the same time I wasn't about to quit just because ugh, I didn't come this far to f***ing come second mate. So I was just going to keep going until everyone else had quit and then I was going to nick it. 20, so at this point it's literally just a full on sprint. Who can endure the most pain? And as you can hear, I saw Louis go out, I was like, thank God, I'll do one more and then I'm gone. And that was that, new record 20.7, dead happy with that. Woo, okay, so the yo-yo test is done. That was fucking grueling. I managed to get the win, but only just. Louis stayed in there for ages, like push me fully to my max. I got a PB, I think I got uh, 20.7. So if you want to try a yo-yo, try to beat that. Good luck. I definitely wouldn't have got that if someone wasn't there pushing me. Like as intrinsically motivated as I like to think I am, with one of those things, you, you just need someone to push you. So dead happy with that. Personal best, smashed. It's now quarter past seven, so I'm gonna whip back to my house, have a shower, make my lunch, get ready for the school day, and then chop on with it.
was everything I filmed. Now originally I was gonna take like little snippets of what I get up to in class. In Spanish be like, si, puedo hablar español, es probablemente mi favorita asignatura, porque la lengua es muy bonita. Y en el futuro cuando viajo a Europa, quiero tener la habilidad de hablar con los locales y ser como, hola, mi amo team. But unfortunately, Sometimes it's just not the way it goes, but life moves on. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Now I do have exams coming up, and I need to study next weekend. Who knows, I might upload a video. Well, just wait and see. Adios.